Hi, I'm Lanny, and this is Preserving Today. Right, this year, for the first time, we tried to grow popcorn. Yeah, that's right. Trying to grow our own popping corn was fun, although not as abundantly successful as I had hoped. As with all my videos, this is much less of a how-to video and a more of a how-I-do video. I'm just gonna explain our first attempt at growing popcorn. I love popcorn all the time, but the fall is when I love it the most. And it makes sense, because that's when you're gonna have popcorn available for the first time every year. But I've never grown it before, so I've never thought of popcorn as a seasonal thing. It's just available in the stores, either in bags to go in the microwave, Jiffy Pop for your stove, or kernels for you to cook in your air popper, or a pot on the stovetop. Popcorn balls for Halloween is a classic. Other kinds of trail mix is good. Popcorn into November and closer to Thanksgiving is great. Here are our turkeys enjoying their time before they end up on our Thanksgiving plate. What do the turkeys say when you talk to them? I a turkey is so funny. Harvest season in the fall is always a great time of the year, and I'm excited to try this popping corn and have that become a new tradition. So of course there are different varieties of corn, but for those who don't know, there are three major types of corn. Dent corn, flint corn, and sweet corn. Dent corn is sometimes called feed corn or field corn, and it is gross tasting, it's not sweet, it's super starchy, and it's used for livestock feed or making alcohol like whiskey or industrial products or even sometimes low-grade human food like tortilla chips, grits, cornmeal, whatever. Flint corn is the kind you can find in the store as decorations. It comes in a variety of colors, it's really durable, and it can be used for popcorn, polenta, as well as tortillas, anything you're grinding cor into cornmeal and flour. And then sweet corn, of course, is the sweet, juicy corn you find at the supermarket. It is for eating fresh or canning or making recipes, cream corn, corn salad, corn pudding, all of the delicious corn stuff. So I got a popping corn variety from Uprising Seeds. They are local to me, so I knew that the corn I was getting would be growing well in my climate but you can find them at uprisingorganics.com if you want to see for yourself. I chose their Amish butter corn. On their website does say that it is a creamy, a buttery popcorn that needs no extra salt or oil. I didn't know what I was getting into when I was going to grow this corn. I started it inside, which most people say to not do that with corn, but I did it anyway. And through my pregnancy, I found it hard to get those plants in the ground at the time that I thought they should have gotten into the ground, so they were late. The starts were root bound and didn't look too happy, but we planted them out anyway with the help of my cousin, Krista, thank you. And I got about six plants to grow, not as tall as the sweet corn varieties, and I'm not sure if that's typical for this variety or not, but they were shorter and had several ears of corn on each stalk some of which didn't fully pollinate and didn't have fully formed kernels, others which did. While our harvest was meager, we were still excited to see if we could actually get the final product of popped popcorn. My three-year-old and I set out to harvest the corn, which I took zero pictures of. Here are a bunch of pictures of corn in fields that look healthy and nice, and mine didn't look like that at all. It was six straggly stalks with a few ears on each, and we grabbed them and we brought them inside. My three-year-old and my mom helped remove the husk from all of the corn. And then I placed them in these cotton mesh bags. I got these on Amazon and I'll link to them in the video description. These bags are gonna be excellent for drying out this corn. I just placed all of the ears of corn into these bags and then I hung it here next to my window in my kitchen. And here we came back to it about three weeks later and the corn was dry. The next step is to remove the kernels from the cob. My 10 year old and three year old did most of the work, although it was hard for little hands to not send these kernels launching across the room. After we removed the kernels from the cob, we took the popcorn to the stove, heated some avocado oil and placed the kernels in until they just started sizzling and put the lid on the pot. After waiting a little while, I was starting to get skeptical that these were gonna actually pop 
I know it's important that there's a balance of dryness as well as still a little bit of moisture left in each kernel to make the popcorn actually pop. The science of popping corn is pretty cool but I thought I'd stick it out anyway. So we just kept waiting. And then finally we heard our first pop and it was extremely exciting. And before you know it, the whole pot was going nuts. This popcorn was so good. It was so much better than any popping corn I've ever had before. And the kernels looked wildly different than conventional store-bought popcorn. These were smaller pieces, but really, really tender and very flavorful. It tasted fresh, which is surprising Like that something like popcorn could taste fresh, fresher, but it did. Fresher than freshly popped store-bought kernels. We added a little bit of salt and fought over the bowl <laughs> until it was gone. All in all, this made me realize how much I want to grow popcorn every year. This is some of the best popcorn I've ever tasted. Don't oversell it. This is truly how I feel. <laughs> Even more than growing sweet corn, this was super fun. I'm going to save some of these kernels and grow them again next year, but this time I'm going to put a lot of effort in to making sure I get them in the ground at the right time with the proper spacing and hopefully grow a lot more. Wouldn't it be cool if we could grow all our own popcorn that we use throughout the year? Even saving seeds to grow it again the next year? I think so. Have you ever grown popcorn? Let me know in the comments. I'm Lanny, and this was Preserving Today.